everybody Ann here sitting here in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all of you I've already gone and checked the chickens let the chickens out in the yard and I checked on mom and baby chicks all baby chicks are still alive they're doing great um, they they've eaten all their food <laughs> I can't believe it I mean it's just one of those little mini uh, holder thingies feeders but it every single last bit of it was gone and it wasn't like they just tipped it over um, and I'm discovering I'm having to do something a little different with their water, so I'll show you that a little bit later. But I just want to give uh, Miss Priz Fancy Pants a chance to kind of like ease into her day. I went in there and I was putting stuff here and there, and she didn't like it one bit. She herded all the, the chicks back into the little um, the little chicken coop area, and I've made some changes back there too. I'll show you that later. But today I want to show you some of the other projects I worked on. Hi, Papa. <laughs> Yep, I think I'm going to brush you out today. I think that you've hopefully gotten over your little shot situation and it won't hurt so much. So this little boy, he's a boy and he likes to hike his leg up and do his business on something. But since he's been back here and he hasn't been getting out a lot, um, he doesn't any, have anywhere to hike his legs up. So I went and brought him in some trees. Now these aren't to block the uh, <laughs> the posts. Um they're just there to give him something to sniff on and pee on. And this one actually looks kind of pretty because it's got all kinds of lichen and moss on it and stuff. So, yeah, and this one was kind of curvy. I thought it was pretty. And I put the little birdhouse up here, too. And I've got one over here. And, yeah, over here, um, <laughs> I don't need to transplant. I left this one raspberry bush whatever but the other one died i think i cut off too much of its um root system so this one's doing pretty good needs water though check this out you guys i made me a little garden box i haven't filled it up yet hello romeo but all i did was i just got some screen and I stay, look at all these staples I got in there. I don't know if it's going to hold or not. We'll just wait and see. I mean, it's stapled all the way around. So, um, I've got some strawberries in there. I've got some spinach. And I've ordered some lemon balm plants and some rosemary. I don't know if I'll put the rosemary in here because their water requirements are different. But they've been doing really good in here. Would I love to get some of those nasturtium flowers? that kind of like drop down add some color and whatnot so i don't know if i'll actually get strawberries this year but they have already grown so i'm really happy i haven't fixed this gate yet but i'm thinking about doing the same thing for the top of this and um but i want to finish the gate first of course here's this garden bed i'm gonna let these volunteer ones grow i don't know exactly what they are because i don't know what those are that that may be zucchini maybe cucumber, but I got the butternut squash planted that I grew from seed, um, and it's going, no, 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 I didn't grow that from seed, did I, I can't, yes, yes, I did, I grew all of the squash from seed, so those three are butternut, and I don't know how it's going to do in this, uh, bed, because they'll sprawl and whatnot, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pepper plants, uh, cayenne pepper plants, and then those, one, two, three, four, five are zucchinis. And look at this little off garden is going pretty good. Finally, I'm getting some dill to grow. And I think those big clumps are basil. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this will grow. There's too much in there. I'll have to thin it out. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Over here, I got some green bell pepper plants because I'll show you what happened with the seeds that I tried to plant. So I planted a bunch in here in between the little onions. Can you see the onions? They're starting to grow. So I guess I did okay with that. This one was already coming out of the ground. But um, I've got a row of onions here, a row of onions here, and a row of onions here. Um, the pepper plants will grow higher. Oh, look, these are getting some nice growth on them. That one too. And then back here are the beefsteak tomatoes. <laughs> Not doing so great. I kind of got them waterlogged. Um, when it rained, they were in those containers and the containers filled up with water. So um, I'll definitely fill the, uh, thin them out if they grow, but they don't really look so good right now, do they? I grew them all from seed. 
So we'll just see. I put one more zucchini plant, the ugliest looking one, right there. And I think I'd already told you that I uh, put pole beans back there. And then I just need to get a trellis. I don't have anything planted in here yet, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So the problem that I had, and these are cayenne. These are actually some kind of pepper. Oh, these are the multicolored peppers. They all got waterlogged basically when it rained. I, these were in this container. I didn't put holes in the bottom of this. So they were just floating. Anything that was in this kind of container, it just filled up with water and it swamped it totally. Um, so it basically, I don't know. I, I just don't think anything's going to grow. And nothing's going on in these. I still water them just a teeny bit just to see what happens. But uh, more than likely, I'll just dump all of this stuff. Notice anything different about this window? Yep. I have decommissioned the wood burning stove for the rest of the season. It's still inside the tiny house, but I just took it out, put the screen back in so I could have some more ventilation, and hopefully the next time I set it up, it will be installed through up high through the wall. I'll just need to move that over a little bit. This area over here has been working. It has the yard has been less wet when it rains. And you can see how it's just kind of going down this way. And I think even if I just kind of stomp it down a little bit with my boot, hopefully to get it to drain just down this way instead of into the yard. And also what I did, I dug up some clumps of dirt here and there. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Those are just weeds. But, um, you know, I love my dandelion greens. Those are actually, I think those are cats here. Yep. Uh, cat's air dandelion green so I'm gonna get a few more and just kind of line it and I'm also gonna go look in the other marshy boggy areas of my property and see what grows there and maybe just bring some of it down here I don't know if it'll work we'll wait and see because the growing conditions here are gonna be different than a lot of the other wet areas on my property because it's shaded so I don't know if it's going to if it'll grow whatever I find but I'm gonna go have a look I did get a couple things in the mail, and unfortunately the mail carrier delivered them across the street to Mr. Lucas, so, you know, you just can't depend on the mail around here. I mean, there's one lady um, that comes in the Jeep, and she's great. Nothing bad ever happens when she delivers the mail, but when she's off, God knows where, where the mail is going to end up. I've had other people's mail in my mailbox all the time, and it's very frustrating, but I got an Easter card from Grandma Net, Jeanette P., so I'm going to show it to you and she made it. Look at this. Look. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? This is another keeper. And she wrote me a beautiful little note. Hope you have a nice ham and all the fixings <laughs> for Easter. Uh, enjoy your day. Love and hugs, Jeanette, Gra uh, Grandma Net. And inside... Amazon gift card. Yay. I am going to, I'm going to order something today. In fact, I was talking about nasturtiums. I may be able to get some. So thank you so much, Grandma Nett, Jeanette P. Um, this brightened my day. I just wish it would have gotten here sooner because I know you really were anxious to let me see this, but it's just such a pretty card. And on the back, it says, uh, created by JP. And it's just beautiful. It is just it's gorgeous. You're awesome. So thank you, Jeanette. Um, also, I got something for my parents. So I think, oh, hold on, I dropped it. I got more seeds. Yep, she sent me more seeds. And this is really good because the multicolored peppers that I had tried to plant before, I killed them all. Killed them all. I flooded them. They're dead, basically. And many of the eggplant plants didn't I mean, there were like three of the little pods that sprouted, but I also flooded them too, so many of them didn't survive. I'm going to plant some more eggplant. And these look interesting, so I may have to plant some radishes. And look at these pretty carrots. Yeah, I think I can plant some carrots for sure. I don't know. I may wait till... I don't know. I can plant them now. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that in that little garden bed and do some radishes too. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So thank you, Mom, for thinking of me when you were in Lowe's waiting for Dad to finish his shopping. Uh, these are going to be great. And um, I don't think there will be any of these vegetables ready by the time you get down here in May or up here. Yeah, up here. 
Um, but I don't know, maybe I can preserve some for you somehow and mail them to you. Look at what I just ordered. Jeanette, I ordered these edible flowers. There's a viola, nasturtium, pansies, chives, borage, calendula, and bee balm. They all have awesome things that they do that are extra from just being pretty. You can eat them. The borage, you can plant next to certain vegetables that you're growing to ward off pests. And I think you can do that with a couple of the others, but they're all going to look lovely. I am going to save some spots in that planter and plant those seeds directly in that planter and see if they'll grow. Um, I might plant some in other pots as well because they're going to be beautiful and they're edible. So thank you. Thank you so much, Grandma Net. The baby chicks are doing fine. I'm not going to go back into the van and film because it seems like she's still in the hovering mode. I mean, I know she's going to be that way for a while, but I don't want to upset her. I just want her to raise those baby chicks and I don't want her to be scrambling over them, you know, and maybe trample one of them to protect them. So I'm going to leave them alone. And for the rest of the day, I'm just going to do some planting projects. I got some dirt that I can throw in a pot or something. Um, and I've also got some interesting things growing around this property and I need to find out what they are and whether or not I can eat them. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one